Let's go back to this. Now, this is historical. People can go reference this, check it up. Heracles now. So this is this was a, a ruler at that time. So he's exposed to Islam. He's exposed to the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, who I often says a brother to Jesus, Moses, Abraham, know all the preceding messengers. He didn't come with anything different. He came with the same message. Worship the one and only creator of the heavens and earth, the creator, not his creation. And he's exposed to it. So he's saying, you know, he's testing the waters now and he sees that this is the truth. He said, what did he say? Shay? He said, if I was with him, I'd wash his feet and drink the water. Hold on. Hold on. This is really deep for people who admire historical fi figures like Alexander the Great. And, you know, uh, they watch many of these movies, uh, Braveheart and many of these people out there, you know, some are even fictional. But now, Heraclitus, this is a, a real, this is not someone from the movies. No, no. The guy uh, gathered all of his priests and monks and head of church and ordered his guards to lock the door. And he recited to them the stories. And he recited to them some of the verses on uh, uh, Isa, peace be upon him, Jesus Christ and his mother and his, his miraculous birth. And the priests and monks started crying until their beards were, were wet. Christians, these are Christians yes. crying now because they're yeah, hearing yeah. the Quran. They are hearing the Quran and Heraclius, Heraclius is setting up this meeting now. Now, so after that, after he saw them being so emotionally moved by the truth of the Quran, he said to them, so what do you think? Should we follow him? So he just was testing the water in a, in a, in a positive way, they immediately overturned because their love of power and love of wealth kicked in. So said, and they started rebelling against him. No, we will not do this. And so much chaos and the shouting and disturbance. And he knew this, this is why he locked the door from the inside. So he said, no, 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 calm down, calm down. I was just testing your Iman, if you're real believers or not. And everything went back to normal. So when this reached the Prophet, والسلام, he said in Arabic, Oh, this wretched person, he was favoring his wealth and power over Islam. That's why he would not give it up. Wow. This was oh. unlike unlike the reaction of the Persian leader who torn the letter of the Prophet and rejected even to reply to him because uh, uh, Hercules gave the, the messenger who came a gift and a concubine and some jewelry back to the Prophet as a form of honoring respect he gave he showed some respect yeah yeah. To, the le to, the, to the level, to the level, Sheikh, of he said, I want people to imagine this. He said, if I was with him, I would wash his feet and drink that water. Yes, out of because all Christians know of the one that Prophet Isa, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, gave the glad tidings of his coming. And they knew that there was someone coming to fix the world and Jesus Christ said this in the Bible, and he said that he'll come after me. He will speak not from his own self, but he will speak from, uh, um, yeah, I, I'm not a, a biblical historian, so I, I'm not Zakir Knight either. So you, you go ahead and check it out. Can with, you get him on the phone Zachary. real quick? <laughs> I wish, <laughs> I wish. I, seriously, I can, but uh, not, not at the moment. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and he, you find, Evidences that are beyond doubt that they knew there was some, someone coming. And we know who this someone is. And we can see it through his track record. Akhi, just open your eyes. What do people hate about Islam? There are those who have in it in, uh, uh, enmity against Islam. Like some European countries, without naming them. Even when the European Council came yesterday with an ad showing a woman without hijab, half picture, and a woman with hijab, half picture, to show the integrity, the uh, um, uh, how uh, cultures blend in Europe, 
because Muslims are a great portion of, of, of uh, the population in Europe. It's an ad, a woman with no hijab and a woman with hijab, they blend them in. So half of the girl is without and half is with. What happened? This European country came up front and said, no, this is totally unacceptable. We object because this denies the Christian and the Jewish heritage of Europe. They have hatred to hijab. Anything that respects women, they have a problem with. If a woman comes out with a bikini or wearing a thong, good for you. That's the thing. That's what we like to see. They have no fear, no bashfulness, no shyness. They hate Islam, full stop. So you wear a beard, cut it. You wear a hijab, take it off. When Corona came, people started wearing the mask. They, they, they were shocked. What can we do? They're wearing niqab legally. They couldn't do anything about it. But when it's out of your conviction, out of your belief, out of your religion, no, we have a problem with that. So these are great examples for Morgan Freeman or whoever else. doesn't matter. The uh, message is open for every, everyone. Uh, now, you mentioned the Persian king. You struck an example, a contrast here. When he And this also now, look, if someone wants to see if the Quran is from the creator of the heavens and earth, they want to take a scientific analytical approach, they will see that this is indeed from the creator. The proof is overwhelming. But then you see these small details that are there that are just, you know, mind-blowing. Like this example that you were going to give with the Persian king, there was a prediction in there. You can say something that was going to happen. And can you go ahead and talk about this? When those messengers came... And then the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. What did he predict or say something that's going to happen in the future that they didn't even know until like, what, a month's journey or several yeah. weeks journey? When the messengers came and they told the Prophet, and he told the Prophet, it was one messenger, and he told the Prophet that this is what the Persian uh, emperor did. He torn your letter, unlike what happened with, the Christians who honored it and sent with the gift. The what was in the letter? What, 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 why, what, what was the letter about? For, for people that don't know, what's in the letter? The letter was simply stating that peace be upon those who follow the guidance of Allah Azza wa Jal. Come to Islam and you will be rewarded for yourself and for all those who follow. And if you do not accept Islam, the message of Allah, which is to believe in monotheism, which to believe that the Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then you shall be punished for your sins and the sins of those who follow you. So it's a call to Islam. It's an invitation with, sent with an, 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 a messenger. So he, out of arrogance, out of pride, he tore it up and sent the messenger back. When the messenger came back to the Prophet and told him, the Prophet said two words, Mazzaqallahu mulka. He said, may Allah tear his kingdom. And on that particular day, which the Muslims came to know a month or so later when the news came, on that particular night this emperor was killed and he had no male offspring so his daughter took his position in leading the country which led it to go downhill and we all know how they were conquered by the muslims